Amnesty International on Tuesday accused the United States of killing three civilians in an airstrike in Somalia after failing to investigate claims that they were farmers with no ties to Al-Shabaab. Amnesty said its investigations revealed that the three were innocently killed in the March 18th strike in southern Somalia. U.S. Africa Command had said that the men were jihadists. However, the international rights group said AFRICOM had provided no evidence to support its assessment that the three men were militants. It also accused the U.S. military of failing to follow up claims that the men were innocent despite promising to do so or make any efforts to contact their families. Amnesty says it interviewed 11 people about the March 18 strike, including co-workers and family of the men killed when their car was hit in Lower Shabele, a hotbed of the Islamist insurgency in southern Somalia. It said all those interviewed in the investigation were adamant that none of the men was a member of Al-Shabaab. In a March 19 press release confirming the strike, AFRICOM said it assessed this airstrike killed three terrorists and it was aware of reports of civilian casualties. Amnesty alleges civilians have been among the dead, claiming it has documented more than a dozen cases of innocent people being killed in U.S. air raids. The organization also assessed media reports that U.S. government statements, vehicle purchase records, official IDS, medical records and videos and photographic evidence of the scene of the attack and injuries sustained by the victims. Everyone the organization spoke to was adamant that none of the men was a member of Al-Shabaab. Also, Al-Shabaab did not prevent the relatives of those killed from collecting and burying their remains, which the armed group generally does when its own fighters are killed. AFRICOM's reporting on the strike and correspondence with Amnesty International raises serious questions about its intelligence gathering and its targeting of what it claimed were affiliates of Al-Shabaab, which may have violated international humanitarian law.